Let me begin this video with an open-ended question. What do you like about yourself? Is it your eyes, your hair, your height, your hands or your feet? Why do you like whatever it is that you've picked? Do you feel as though they make you beautiful? Do they capture people's attention? Or do they just make you feel like you're attractive? Why do they put so much emphasis on how they look? I always wonder why people dress the way they do. Why they dye their hair, why people get piercings and tattoos. Is it a simple case of adolescent rebellion? Or do we just all have that one thing about ourselves that we hate? Why do we hate ourselves? Is it just like a rite of passage that we start to detest our appearance? Or is it only a select few who are gifted with such a burden? This first photo was taken when I'm six, when I'm around 12, 6 to 12 weeks old. I look pretty happy, don't I? Smiling, laughing, giggling, probably talking in that adorable baby talk that is completely nonsensical to most adults. I'm deaf like any other baby girl. I don't have any hair. I've got blue eyes, no teeth. I've been told all my life I was a pretty cute baby. Cute, adorable, beautiful, precious little child. And it got me thinking. When did I stop thinking of myself like that? When did I first realise that I wasn't beautiful? I'm six in this photo. I'm in brownies. I'm making my mum a photo frame for Mother's Day. I remember at that age asking my mum why I was small and all the other girls in my class. Why was I skinnier than all these other girls? Why did I have such brilliant, bright blonde hair? Already I was noticing and picking out things that I thought were my imperfections. These things that made me me, helped me stand out from the crowd. Why did I know what was wrong with me at six years old? In this photo, I'm seven. I can tell because it's right in the middle of my fairy phase. I'm dressed up for World Book Day. I was still small, still skinny, still blonde. And I think it was around this time that I started getting bullied. I used to be outgoing, but then I became shy. Why did I hate myself so much, as much as I did? Well, because even though I was only seven years old, I knew that I wanted to be tall, more curvy, with dark hair. I wanted to be like the girls I watched on the Disney Channel and in the movies. Why did I aspire to be like them? In this photo, I'm 11. But now I wanted the opposite. Now I'm thinking I'm fat. I wanted to be skinnier, less curvy, with longer and even darker hair. I don't know why, but I remember getting a lesson purely devoted to the dangers of anorexia. Being shown these pictures of models who were dangerously thin looked appalling. But I thought they looked beautiful. I wanted to be like them. As I sit here, typing this, I notice something. Looking back, I don't remember thinking any of these things, these tiny little imperfections with my body. But now I do. My hairline is crooked. My teeth are squinty. My eyebrows are awful. But I don't remember thinking any of that when I was this age. I just wanted to be skinnier. This final photo was taken in 2016, last year. This is me now. I'm not always happy about the way I look. My feet are too small. My boobs are too big. My legs are too short. My nose is too big, my eyes are too small, my stomach's too fat, my thighs are too big, my skin is too oily, I could go on. And even though I can still pick out a great number of imperfections with my body, I'm trying hard not to focus on them. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm completely okay with my body, but I also know that what I do and what everyone else around me does, it's doing to themselves is dangerous. We, as a society, need to start taking responsibility for the way that we think. If not for our own sake, then for our future children's sake. I don't want my sons and daughters coming up to me in 10 to 15 years' time and telling me that they feel ugly in their own skin. 
because the truth is, everyone is beautiful in their own special, unique and amazing way. I think we should focus more on our good points than on our bad points. Hashtag kiss the mirror. Let's do this.